All right, guys, diverging a little bit in my videos. I've got a Sony, uh, what is this thing called, AS20? Yeah, HDR AS20 that I just bought today. I actually had a GoPro before and I didn't like it. Um, I just thought the quality wasn't very good. And this, this, the, the Sony I've read a little bit about does, does can go better and I tested it out and it does, does do better in my opinion. Um, and I was looking at the, you know, they have one for 500 bucks and you guys know me, I'm, I'm in tight. I'm, 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 I tend to be uh, attracted to the most expensive one, but I went to Best Buy. I said, you know what? I'm going to buy the cheap one and see how it goes. I really only want 1080p anyway. I don't need 4k and I don't need like the wristband and with the, with the display and all that stuff. So pretty neat little, little, um, little camera. There's a couple of problems though. Um, there's you know, these things sound like crap so the whole point of this is so that I can do exhaust videos and do and capture on on camera footage uh, in, in, in or in car footage on camera and you just I mean, you, you can't you can't capture it with the, the little crappy microphone on this thing so I was reading a little bit and, and figured out how to do this it looks like it's pretty simple so what I essentially need to do so that I can connect my my external mic and I'll show you that in a second but I need to um, take this plate off uh, and then I need to drill a hole through the bottom of this thing. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna work on here. I think this thing just pulls off, maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't. So we're gonna see if we can't figure out how to modify this thing. Worst case scenario, I'll cut this whole, you know, the problem with this camera is there's no tripod mount on the camera. Like the GoPro, you just have a, a mount on the camera. So this one you have to mount to here. And I, I actually just bought some, some stuff to, to mount it to my roll bar in the GT3 for the trip I have coming up. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just hack this thing apart and we'll see what happens. The beauty of this is it's only 350 bucks, or I'm sorry, 150 bucks. So if I screw it up, I'm not broke. Remove these two screws, and I'm going to get a little bit smaller. There we go. So there's two screws on the bottom here. I got a really uh, solid roll of the eyes from my wife when I said. Uh, I'm going to be modifying something I just bought. She goes, oh boy, that usually means problems. Okay, so this thing comes off. Put this back on. I don't intend to use this for anything other than in my car, so I don't really care if there's going to be a hole in the bottom. I'm not going to take it underwater or do anything like that. At least I don't think I am. If I decide to, then I'll just buy another, another housing. I'm going to chop this one up so that way I can get the external mic hooked up. Putting the screws back in. You know, I tried, and maybe there's a better, maybe there's a way to do it, but the digital, SR, digital SLR is just so darn heavy that even with the reinforced mount that I bought, it just doesn't, doesn't work in the car. And what I probably need to do is just buy a, a camcorder, buy like a, a Canon cam, camcorder, but this is a cheap solution that I'm gonna give a, give a whirl, and I'm not gonna film very much, so. All right, so I basically need to just blow a hole through here and hope that it works. Let me get my microphone. All right, so problem number one, this is my Rode Stereo Video Mic X. So what my intention is on the roll bar of the GT3 is to, I bought two roll bar mounts. So to mount the camera and then mount the mic in the same spot, um, I probably won't use the dead cat, but this is the Rode Stereo Video Mic X.
so this wire probably isn't going to fit through that to the hole that I'm about to drill. We'll see. I, I have a bunch of this stuff laying around, so I'll probably just go into the into my I have a giant container of extra wires. Let's see. think with plastic you probably just have to make sure you take it nice and slow and I should probably make a mark here first so what I'm gonna do is look at the bottom here mark where that is we'll see if we can't hack this thing up enough to where I can still mount the camera. Yep. Let's see. Let's see what happens. That's not going through it. This thing needs to connect all the way. This hole is going to need to be much bigger than that. You know, let me go look for a wire first. All right. Went down, got a cable. So we use this. I'm always amazed at how many cables I have. I'm, me and Miss Baby are gonna hang out here for a few before bedtime. Hey, Miss Baby. Hey, Miss Baby. Say hi to our friends. Say hi. Anyway, you'll hear her yelling and screaming. Okay. So, I'm going to attempt, see I don't think this is ever going to close, I guess we'll see, with the mic, but it really doesn't matter. So I need to go a lot bigger. Let's go five sixteenths. Just to make it simple, the bigger the better. Let's see if this works. It's pretty big. Not big enough. See if this thing still closes. Maybe a little bit bigger. I might just try to round it out with this. What you doing, baby? No crying. We're working out here. I can't be crying while we're working. getting there.
Let's see if that works. Nope, not big enough yet. <laughs> Might be better if I just remove this whole, remove this whole front piece. Hmm. There we go. Let's take that piece out. Means this can come off, theoretically. Now I can drill out the hole. Oh yeah, we're doing a good, good hack job to this thing now. Keep going. Yes, sir. You want one dollar? For what? Oh, <laughs> you found her phone, so you get one dollar? I think I found her phone, though. I told you where it was. If I had to pay you every time you had to find mommy's phone, I'd be poor. I wouldn't be able to buy any of this cool stuff. What are you going to do with a dollar? What are you going to do with it? See now, you know, it really doesn't matter if all I need is the housing to hold the camera. It really doesn't matter that, um, that I don't have the front piece on, you know, because it's not going to work anyway. All it's going to do is vibrate around. So I think that's, it's going to be my modified housing. Now, if I was doing, you know, if I was motorcycle racing or something like that, I think it would matter. So I've got roll bar mounts. They're going to sit like this and go. So that's, that's the ticket, guys. Piece of cake. So then this will plug right into the mic. Take the dead cat off. This will plug right here. Then I'll have the two, you know, sitting you know, next to each other so I can capture some, some decent audio. And then you know, can kind of set this on the on the bar on the on the roll bar wherever I need. I also bought a suction cup mount so that I can I'm probably out of focus there. So I bought a suction cup mount that I can I can mount this to as well. I had to actually buy an adapter because this is five sixteenths. So um, I'll show you what that looks like when I get it. But this should be a cool little setup. Should work pretty well. Just I just I'm guessing. I, you know, again, I tested the camera out in the M3 and it looks pretty good. Looks better than the GoPro. Anyway, I know this is a little different than my normal, normal stuff. Hey, watch it, watch it, watch it. No, don't go in there. But uh, thanks for watching.